Yo, what is going on guys? It is OilersFan97 here and today we are back with a release day break. I know you guys have been probably waiting for me to post for almost like a month or so, but um, I was just kind of mainly focused on the draw of this release and I'm sorry if I didn't do, I probably should have did the release day of CHL. I'm still debating on a box of that just because there's no guarantee of autographs, but uh, off camera I did open one pack of CHL and I did pull is Brant Clark uh, clear cut stars so full stuff focus there we go so Brant Clark obviously one of the bigger prospects for LA I think for next year so that's very nice out of one pack so I don't know if you guys want to see a CHL box uh, comment down below I always will never say no to it obviously so um and further ado we do have two boxes of 22-23 series one crazy to think that uh, we're getting into this season and uh, glad it came actually on time than it normally is now, thank God. So the box cover, obviously, I love it. Connor McDavid, those nasty jerseys. I just, I love those dark orange kind of ones. Can't wait for the reverse retros this year of those. But yeah, we're going to do box one of two of this. I did buy two. Um, obviously, we're looking for Owen Power in this. Uh, Matty Bernier, Matty Bernier's, uh, Kent Johnson. Um, I'm missing a couple others. Matt Boldy, Marco Ross here are the big ones. Obviously, we're looking for the clear cuts, young guns, uh, acetates, or not acetates, sorry, just clear cuts and um, exclusives and high glosses in here, obviously. So you do get uh, eight cards per pack, as it says on the box. If the lighting's kind of odd in here, and 24 packs per box, as always. Obviously, six young guns. If you get a young guns canvas, you get seven. So, um, yeah. So I guess we'll find out what the design is. So let's do box one of two. You know what, we're just gonna do one and then put the other side for now. Put the other one standing up. So we got box number 83. And this one is, I went basically on this, but from a fresh case, so I did get two. Um, box number 87, Sidney Crosby. So we got 97 and 87, well, wow. all right. Let's go. Connor McDavid says, let's go. Let's get quit chit-chatting. Let's get going. Let's start rolling. That's the way we like to say it, right? So I didn't really want to join any group breaks yet. I kind of want to wait and see. That's why I kind of want to just buy my boxes and then kind of go from there. Um, it's not that I don't want to join. It's just, you know, it, it's hit or miss. It's pretty much at the teams or you get random. So, But I have not watched any videos on this, so I am actually going in this blind. Um, look at all that silver packs. Look at all that metal. <laughs> um, you know, we're going to... You know, let's just take the packs out. Take the packs out. Let, let's do that. Probably easier for more room. So we can go stack by stack. And go by over. Alright. Box is empty. And then we'll put McDavid in the back there with half his head up. Alright. <laughs> Keep your head up, boys. And obviously, I did... Hear about the incident to Evander Kane. Here's what the packs look like, by the way. Um, so, yeah, a very scary incident that happened last night with Evander Kane. Um, all go well to him, and uh, hopefully it's a speedy recovery, what happened. So, all right. Now, this is my first look at these base cards. So, we're going to take a look at this. Nico Dawes. I'm surprised this dude's got a base card, considering he's not even on the roster right now. Because we take Vanacek and um, Mackenzie Blackwood, so... Base cards are a lot more clean. I mean, a little bit smaller font, but at least you can read the names, I guess. So, honestly, this is a step up for Upper Deck, in my opinion. They kind of better shots, I think. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I know the Young Guns design I did look at. It wasn't a huge fan, but um, yeah, I guess we'll find out. So, And I do have a one-touch ready, got sleeves ready, all that good stuff. But there's the base cards. I won't go to over too many base because I don't want to make this super long since we got two boxes. So... Kind of go slow a little bit for the couple packs as I this is a lot of color in here. Uh, I, le I like how there's a lot more color with the teams, like electric almost, space looking. Uh, JT Miller, Bruce, there it is. <laughs> uh, we got a checklist of Jason Robinson and Igor Shesterkin. Jordan Bennington, and that lady looks super thrilled in the Weathers game. Who wants to focus? Oh, yeah, she looks disgusted. She's checking him out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, UD Portraits. Oh, man, this guy's uh, this guy just got suspended here. Uh, Kirill Kaprizov for sticking Drew Doughty. Now, the portraits in a lot in person, 
I think they're a lot more cleaner than the last couple years they've done them. I like the black border. Um, let's focus it. There we go. Definitely a clean design. Um, I'm going to be honest. So there's the portraits. So let's speed it up here. Yeah, I, I'm definitely a fan. Um, considering, I mean, they look nice. I have, oh, look at this shot. Anthony Stores. Like there's guys that are getting base cards like that are backup goalies. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, considering they don't put a ton of them in there. So, like, nice shot of Anthony Stolarz there. Pretty cool. Tanner Janot, dude's a beast. Victor Arvinson, Sammy Girard, and we got a gold defense. Um, what is this? Are these numbered at all? Shane Goss to spare. Like a gold. I don't know if these are one per, but defense. Uh... Look at that. That's a. These are clean. Wow. I don't know if there's variations of these, but kind of clean. I actually dig these new inserts. A couple of new inserts this year. This is one of them. The defense. Um, yeah, pretty clean. Could have been a better defenseman, but you know, Philip Deneau and William Carey. So let me know who comes down below if you guys are opening this on release day. Like I said, uh, I think I'm excited to post this tonight. It should be good. There we go. Kareem Vemelka. This dude's a beast right now in Arizona. It's a stud. Ryan Donato. Kraken's getting some loving. Please be good something. Philly. Bobby Brink. Or Bobby Brink. I think this is one of the good ones, right? I think. I've heard of I look I heard him on the checklist. I think Bobby Brink's okay. Um I don't know if he's one of the top, but Philly's actually starting off pretty well. So um, the design, honestly, I think in person, I'm going to get over it a little quicker. I think, to be honest, it looks a lot sharper just online. It looks so colory and I don't know. Uh, there's Warren Fogo, the legend himself. And Barrett, why you hating? So yeah, let's speed it up here. I don't want to, we're not even halfway through yet. So I don't know if we're guaranteed jerseys either, but we kind of want to hope for something big, right? Trevor Moore, Milan Lucic, and Kevin Hayes. Boom. And a UD Canvas. Two Willie Nylanders right there. William Nylander. UD Canvases look very clean this year. Um, as they always do. The photography is unreal. Um, I love them. Look at that line. Am I, am I tripping or is there a line through that? Maybe that's the netting, but looks like there's a line through the base cards. But this is definitely a step up for Upper Deck. I mean, base cards finally have some color. Not It's not basic is the word um so like the photography is a lot better i don't know there's a lot of things feel better like this shot look at this Elias sorokin i think that's when he made that big save in new york but that was that was awesome uh, joel faraby and oh kale mccarr defense wow see i wish that was the gold of that see that that would have been better but these cards are very clean i wonder if these are like taking over shining stars maybe but these cards are really clean i like them Connor Hellebuck, Chris Dreer, Shesterkin goalie pack, and three goalies in that pack. Wow. All right. All right. Let's hope for a big name. We got the one touch aside. This has been very, very eventful so far. <laughs> Peep this photo. <laughs> Garrett Hathaway. Oh, boy. Jake Muzzin, Doughty, Jack Eichel, and superstar. Oh, rookies on a roll of uh, Marco Rossi. That's actually a solid one. Marco Rossi, I think, has had a little bit of a slower start, and obviously with his past last year, but injuries, but uh, definitely one of the top ones. Um, but yes, yeah, definitely interesting. Clayton Keller, look at that shot of McDavid. That's very cool. I wonder if that was in Calgary. I'm curious, but that's a cool shot of McDavid. The Brinkett, and oh, another flyer. Let's take it, Jimmy Stu, Alexiak, and Charlie Coyle. It is Hayden Hogan, Hoganson, Hoganson. I don't even know if I've ever heard of this. Philly fans, if you guys are watching this video, please comment down below. I think Bobby Brink's okay, but oh boy. <laughs> now, I, don't quote me, but I don't think there's any Oilers rookies in Series 1 this year. Um, I don't actually think there is, to be honest. But Kyle Palmieri, Alex Texier, and Brent Gallagher. Boom. Oh, look at that. Nice UD canvas of Tanner's No. Now, I, what I love about these UD canvases is, um, like, if you go to meet him and you want to get something signed, there's Uyghur. 
and fat little Francois. Um, if you like meet like one of the players in person, it'd be those cards I find are like the best to get signed, to be honest. I, I'm truly a fan. So, Sonny Milano, Victor Olsen, Nikolai Ehlers, and Dylan Sandberg, Young Guns. So, so far, not the biggest names. I don't think Bobby Brink is like a huge name, so I'm gonna be honest. Winnipeg Jets fans, who's Dylan? Samberg, he sounds familiar, but again, when I say familiar, I feel like I've seen him play, but <laughs> I don't watch all their games, so it's probably this class. I think that's why Series 2 will be a lot better, obviously, with Subkoski, right? All those guys, but Bernier's canvas is in here, I think. Eric Carlson, Lucas Raymond. Carlson's been a beast this year, Jesus. Colson and our first Dazzler, Sean Dersey, Killington, and Hart. First Dazzler of Gabe Landeskog. These cards actually look very more, um, almost like a, I guess, I, like a, you're on the dance floor almost, I guess. Like, I don't know. Kurashev upshot. Oh, look at that. That's a cool shot of Stuart Skinner. Ah, oh, come on now. I literally just met him, so this card would have been dope to get signed, but very nice. Stewie. And look at this. Philip Tomasito. Tomasino, sorry, uh, rookie retro respective. These came back a lot more foily. This dude's actually done not too bad. So, Troy Terry, Adam Pellish. So, I'm glad Upper Deck's putting guys in here that are like, don't obviously get too many cards, especially if it's like an extended or, you know, like not a lot of loving is what I mean. But, Kale Clegg, like Kale Clegg has a card. Got a Young Guns canvas of <laughs> Valtteri Pustinen. <laughs> Oh boy, Robin Leonard. Yeah, you stare him down. You stare him down, Robin. All right, so Valtteri Pustun. Uh, and I feel like this guy's played and he's did okay, but again, what do I know? Wish it was Matty Bernier's, but I think we're still due for a big name here. There's something I'm feeling it. This box, first box hasn't been too great. Something's got to come out here. We got a first one of these, Center of Attention. Damn, it's Evgeny Kuznetsov. Evgeny Frozes Kuznetsov. Foley, Mers Lincolns, and Jake Allen. Jake Allen's got a base card. Again, like guys that have base cards like that is pretty cool. And I like the photography this year too. It's always good. So, Elias uh, Omark, Dan Cole, those gold uh, helmets, Sorelli, and Martin Nikas. This guy's been on a tear, especially in my fantasy too. So, Martin Nikas, he's chatting it up with the reporter. All right. Martin Zub. Hopefully this is focused in. There we go. Base. Oh, Ben Myers. Oof. Owen Tippett, Rasmus Anderson, Marchment. Oof. Ben Myers. Ben Myers sounds like he's been in the minors too long. <laughs> A lot of uh, Minnesota guys I noticed, like, damn. I don't know, maybe it's just I'm tripping, but not a bad thing. Always good. Big hockey town, I like it. Uh, Braden, what's the point? <laughs> Checklist and new hook. Is this a base pack? Or am I missing a French? Checklist didn't count, did it? Um, checklist didn't count. Um... You know, I think we actually got a base pack. I think, I don't know. Comment down below. I don't. I don't see any French variant. If I miss one, I don't know. That's different. Uh, Michael Mac Matheson base and a debut date. Look at that. Of uh, can you read that name? Jesus, the foil. Uh, Jonathan Dolan. This dude, I think, went back to the Swiss league. If not mistaken, but. All right, so we're getting down to it. Hopefully something to get that one touch. Don't strom and oh, freestyles. These almost remind me of like Metal Universe. Like they, they just should be meant to be. Freestyles of Mitch the Mitch Mana, Mitchy Boy. Definitely different cards. I mean, cheesy, but it's like a, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's, it's different for sure. All right, Jeff Carter, Johnny Hockey, and 
Oh my god, Jack McBain. Jack McBain. Sorry. Yanni Hakampal, who's been a beast for Dallas. He's underrated. Got excited. I forgot Logan Cooley is going to be a good one. I think he's going to be in series two. I know he hasn't really played. I think he went down. So how many young ones did we get so far? I'm going to count. Three, four, five, six. So we're due one more. And hopefully the last one's a big one because I don't think Bobby Brink should be a, a $100 card. But let's hope we get something here. We got Thomas Shabbat. Dude's a stud. He is a machine. Insert, Spencer, what a night. And yeah. All right, I'm gonna speed it up. I don't want this 20 minutes. Gore Sherry Govich. That's a nice one there. Landy, my man, breaking point there. Nice superstar uh, honor roll, Leon. Leon Neon had a crazy game. Him and McDavid are just racking points like left, right, and center. All right, come on, Matty Bernier, his own power. Or Matt Boldy, <laughs> someone come come out, come out, quit hiding. And uh, it's Caden Corsak, 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 Corsak. He sounds familiar, but again, I'm not familiar with all these names in this box. So yeah. All right, last two packs. Speed it up, Winberg. Unless we get a bonus one, but I doubt it. Spash and Aho, you do portraits. I thought they would almost have like a texture kind of to it, but I don't know. Still still a better design in past years, so. All right, last pack. All right, Lundell, Kerfa, and Alex Newhook. Ricky Retro Respective, so. Overall, first box out of two. Not the strongest. I mean, you guys can comment down below. Or let me know if these were any big names. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like Bobby Brink sounds somewhat familiar. I'm not really going to go over the inserts, but you guys know what I mean, what you expect on the box. You get obviously one, one of these freestyles. I'm glad there's more foil in these. Um, yeah, just a lot of good stuff, goodies. So, And to recap, we did get Caden Corsak. We got J Jack McBain, uh, Ben Myers, Canvas of Vitelli, v Valtteri Pustinen, Dylan Samberg, uh, Hayden Hoganson, and Bobby Brink. Uh, so yeah. Oh, sorry. Bobby Brink, I think, was that one guy that was in the college, right? Was it Denver? I, you know what? Bobby Brink. Okay, wait. Now he sounds familiar, but I don't know if it's a $100 card, obviously. So let me know what the biggest hit with this was in this break, guys. Comment down below. But there you go. First box of Series 1 out of 2. Not the greatest, but uh, hopefully Box 2 will have one of the big boys. So yeah. See you guys later. Peace.